It's the NFL on EA Sports, where we'll see who's better, Houston's former team or its current one. It's the Tennessee Titans and the Houston Texans, and it's coming up next on Madden NFL 25. We are just around 10 miles south of downtown. You get a look inside NRG Stadium in Houston, the home of the Texans. Good to have you on board with us. Mike Tarico, Greg Olson here in the booth. Greg, in this league, you know it. You lived it. Undergoing a changing of the guard, the quarterback position sometimes can be traumatic, but a lot of times it leads to hope. We've got a couple of teams here with young signal callers looking towards the future. And you know the old saying, Mike, in the NFL, it is truer than ever. If you have a quarterback, you have a chance. And here we have two teams that feel like they have that quarterback position of the future settled. There's going to be some growing pains. There's going to be some moments where that youth rears its head. But over the long term, both these organizations feel like they have an answer at the most critical position in all of sports. Stage is set. Ball is on the tee. And off we go on EA Sports. On the return, it's Damian Pierce. And he'll be brought down past the 25. Piece of field position to start this drive. The Texans come out with the Rookie of the Year for last year in the NFL. C.J. Stroud, he was the number two overall pick out of Ohio State. Greg, a talented quarterback here. If there's going to be a poster child for just how flawed the pre-draft process can be at times, I think this guy's at the top. I mean, just think, last year, people are nitpicking him going into his rookie year. He can't do this. He can't do that. And what does he do? He comes out and has arguably the greatest rookie quarterback season in NFL history, not only bringing his franchise back to life, but really establishing himself as one of the best quarterbacks in the entire league. And he slides and covers up at the end, avoids the hit, and picked up decent yardage along the way. Initially, Mike, a really good job by the defense. Nowhere to go with the ball for this quarterback. He's forced to pull it down and turn into a runner. A little slow reaction, and he's able to actually pick up a pretty good game. Man acquired by trade in the offseason, it's Joe Mixon. And nothing doing on that run. He'll get back to the line of scrimmage, nothing more. We have an early third down coming up. You want to see linebackers play downhill, Mike, meaning there's not a lot of side-to-side -side pursuit. They're attacking the line of scrimmage, attacking the ball carrier. That's exactly what we saw out of this guy here. He's able to make the stop at the line of scrimmage and keep it to no gain. They'll try and run for this with Mixon. And the guard is still. He's got the first down up to the 44. Really just the same approach that an offense would take on a quarterback sneak, Mike. You don't necessarily have to spring them for a huge game. Can you buy just enough space up front to pick up one yard? That's exactly what they did. Pick up the first down. Off the play fake. Here. On a blitz, overwhelming the offensive line, and down he goes. In the midst of a tight game like that, you're looking for every play that you can make to try to gain advantage. And if you can continue to get after the quarterback, disrupt the rhythm and timing of this quarterback in the second half, that could be the difference of you being able to pull away. Work to do now as they come up on second and long. From the gun, here's Stroud. Oh, got him again the second time with a sack on this opening drive. When you can bring cornerbacks on pressure, man, that changes everything for the defensive play caller. Offense is spent all week worrying about linebackers, defensive linemen. How are they going to protect the quarterback? But when you can time up a secondary pressure like this, man, oftentimes, there's no answer for it. Work to do following the sack. It is third and long. Now a deep ball here for Collins. And they will bring this into the red zone. Big connection inside the 20. Uh, they've come out swinging here on this opening drive 
wanted to do. Generate some early chunk plays and try to get some points. Ball down to the 16-yard line. And it's first and 10. From the shotgun, C.J. Stroud. Oh, a short throw there, but it's going to end up incomplete. That's a pass he say he should have had. Instead, he does not, and it brings up second down. They couldn't quite connect there on that short pass, Mike, and I just think it's worth reminding everyone how different the concepts are down here in the red zone than what the rest of the game plan calls for in the normal part of the field. Here's a toss, right side to Mixon. And he will get into the end zone. Now Mixon, touchdown, Houston. A terrific way to start this one. Not only a touchdown, but a nice long march down the field. Makes it a long walk back to the bench for the defense. Mike, that's about as good as you can imagine starting a game offensively. To be able to sustain that many plays and be able to cap it off with a touchdown. That is a dream start for this offense. Now, Kaimi Fairbear on for the extra point. He's got it. And the Texans will take a 7 0 lead. after the touchdown here's Fairbairn to kick it off here comes a return from the three he'll get this past the 20 before he's brought down shy of the 25 yard line Titans coming up with their quarterback Will Levis good performance last year taken early in that second round in the 2023 draft Greg this quarterback out of Kentucky could be the future for Tennessee from a pure talent standpoint, this guy has everything you want in a franchise quarterback. I mean, the powerful arm paired with a quick release, and he's as tough as they come. But in order for him to take that next step, he needs to put it all together on a more consistent basis. I'm looking forward to seeing how he performs here in this one, because after hearing him talk throughout the week, I think he has his sights set pretty high. And they'll bring him down around the 27-yard line. It is Aziz Al Shire with the stop. The tight end, Okonkwo, is in motion. On second down, Levis. That's to the forward, Jaguar and Falcon, Calvin Ridley. And that's a first down. It will be a gain of eight. So you come back out here after watching the opposing team score first. And what you want to do is you got to establish a little early rhythm and get the drive started. Get a little positive energy into that huddle. And what hopefully starts out good ends with you being able to get some points of your own. A throw on the move is caught. That's a nice pickup on a first down throw. It's a gain of eight. There's no more efficient play in the NFL, Mike, than the play-action passing game. You can see here why. You make the defense have to honor both the run and the pass, and he's able to pick up a nice game to his tight end. Complete Ridley on the reception. And it'll be a short pickup that's not enough for the first down. They'll look to pick this up third and a yard. They'll try and run for the first down with Pollard. A 
fresh set of downs to work with. It is first down and 10. Out of the shotgun. Levis. That one. Oh, it's on target, but it goes as an incompletion. I believe he had that one in his grasp, but unable to hold on, and it will be second down. They told us this week they were going to try to come out fast, and tell you what, that's exactly what they did. Put immediate pressure on this secondary and let them know, hey, all game long today, you better defend every blade of grass because we're coming out firing. Even though that ball falls incomplete, it goes a long way in setting up. And the pressure will get to him. He goes down. There is a flag there on the play. I think that's going to be holding on the offense. Second down throw here for Levis. His pass caught. It's Chivacanclo. And he's down inside the 40-yard line. Mike, I can't tell you how many corner routes I caught throughout my career. And there's really an arc to it. At the top of the break, you have to give the quarterback what they call an indicator step. That's your cut where you set your angle. And then once that ball's out, go chase it down. And in this case, he's able to pick up the first down. Ball rests at the 37. It's first and 10. Levis. Toward the middle of the field that time, but incomplete. Tyler Boyd was the intended target for that one. And it'll be second down. Up until that incompletion, they've done a really nice job on this drive, Mike, picking up fresh sets of downs. And typically, throwing the ball on first down is a great way to do it. But now they find themselves in second and ten. Do you keep it in the air and try to get the first down here? Or is the idea to just make third down manageable and take your chances picking up a key third down? That's catch three just on this drop. And it gets his team a first down. Well, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. They clearly have a mismatch in their favor. And every time they've looked his way, he's continued to make big plays. I'm this coordinator. I think I'm giving him one more shot and see if he can push this thing over the goal line and come away with six. And the Titans are going to have a first and goal coming up. They try to finish off this drive with six points. This is how you draw up your opening possession when you're on the road. The longer the drive goes, the quieter the crowd gets. Continue to mix in that run game. Let's see if they can finish off by putting this ball in the end zone. From the gun, it's Levis. That's to the right side, and incomplete. You hear quarterback coaches say it all the time. Let's get our guy easy completions. Well, that falls certainly into that category, Mike, but when you fail to connect on those, it just ends up being a wasted down. So the ball's still at the eight-yard line for second down and goal. They'll run the toss. Here's Pollard. Nothing cooking on that one. He'll be met and tackled behind the line of scrimmage. I'd like to see that running back be a little bit more decisive with his cut, Mike. You can see he was a little hesitant, and once you're late making that decision, you just kind of get strong laterally. Great job there by the defense, and he has no choice but to take that loss. From the gun on third down, here's Levis. And this is going to be incomplete. Great work there, making things difficult defensively. It'll set up a fourth down. Doesn't get much better than that. Had he gotten there just a little bit earlier, he probably draws the flag a little late. It's probably a touchdown. Folks' kick is good. And the Titans are on the board. It's seven to three. It's always a little bit of a letdown, Mike. You find yourself deep in the red zone, and you have to settle for a short field goal like that. In this case, he's able to put it through, and they get three. The kickoff team is out of the field. And we're back to it as the kicks away. Here's Pierce for the return. And 
and he'll be brought down just beyond the 25-yard line. Texans offense ready to possess the football for the second time. They'll see if they can put something together here, beginning with first and ten. begin on the ground and here's Mixon and some space opens as he's brought down following a gain of six they'll work now on second and four here's Stroud over the middle and caught by Collins. I'd like to see them do a better job here the rest of the game, Mike, just disguising the coverage from the pre-snap look to the post-snap look. And what I mean is, when you have a quarterback at this level and what they see before the ball's in their hands is the exact same thing they see once they do get the ball, everything is just so much easier for them to process. Change the look, change the coverages, move your safeties. Make the quarterback have to process with the ball in his hand. And he is short of the goal line, but they are in business at the one-yard line. Following the completion, we'll get a stoppage here for an injured player. Athletic training staff looking at him, so we'll step us up. So the big play gets him down close. And now it's first and goal. They'll run here with Mixon. And looked like he may have had a lane, but the defense shut it down quickly. He did not get in. It'll be second down. This defense is able to get the hold here on first down, Mike, but they might have to do it three more times. I think if I'm this offense, I'm saying this is four down territory. I've got three more shots to gain one yard. Here you go. Again, it'll be Mixon. And he will not get to the goal line. In fact, he may have come back a little bit, and now it is third and goal. Down here this close, all it takes is one defensive lineman defeating his block and getting some penetration, and that's exactly what we saw here. Not only to stop the ball carrier short of the end zone, but to take him down for a loss. Greg, offensive coordinators script the start of the game. This script has read perfectly. What a great start for this offense. It just seems like every play this offensive coordinator dials up is perfectly timed and then perfectly executed. They've been aggressive. They've been efficient right since the start of this one. And I'll tell you what, Mike, they continue to build on this lead here early. Mm -hmm. It's going to be a long day for this defense. Mm -hmm. Fairbairn, good on point out. And the Texans extend their advantage to 14 to 3. So after the touchdown, here's Fairbairn to kick it off. On the return, here's Tajay Spears. And a decent... He'll get this up just shy of the 30. The Titans offense ready to take over for their second possession. The deficit is double digits, so work to do as they begin this drive with first and ten. Now 
Now, Levis. And he's not able to get away. He does manage to get back to the original line score. And now set up second down. They teach these defensive ends to rush to the X. The X is the spot where the quarterback stops his drop. And you can see when he hit that back foot, he had nowhere to go. And he's able to bring him down for a big sack. Try again, it's second and ten. Here's Levis. Oh, and this one's going to wind up incomplete. That's one you'd think he'd be able to corral. He can't find the handle, and it's going to lead to a third down. Oftentimes, it's the wide open ones that are the hardest to catch. It seems like the ball is in the air forever. You start overthinking it. You start really taking more of it than what you should, and you let it slip away. The tight end, Okonkwo, is in motion. to a short return. The Texans offense back onto the field for their next possession. They built a nice lead for themselves here. They'll try to add to that, beginning with first down. Give to Nixon. And he'll get about four to the 29. Here's a second and six. To throw, it's Stroud. That's me. That's Wolf. They'll be set up now. Up past the 40 with that one. So after one, it's the Texans who have the early lead. And more from Houston coming up in a moment. the huddle coming up now for first and ten back to throw Stroud and he got rid of that one quickly before the receiver even knew what was going on that's incomplete timing and trust critical elements of this quick passing game if your target and the quarterback are not on the same page it winds up being an incompletion and a wasted down they'll try again here second and ten on the option, they give it to Mixon. And he tries to get back to the line of scrimmage, but will not happen here. I think he's going to lose a yard. You have to wonder if next time, does the play caller give his quarterback some options to check out of this play? It was clear before the ball was snapped. This was not a great look for that play call, and you can see the end result. From the gun here on third down, it's Stroud. To be pulled in, it's incomplete. Looks like he may have got a little ahead of himself there, and it's going to bring up fourth down. And on that third down, they thought an easy way to pick it up and get some positive yards would go to their quick game, but it didn't seem like the receiver and the quarterback were on the same page, and now brings up fourth down. And he'll get a few yards on this return. A pass. The 15-yard line. The Titans offense ready to take over once again. They try to establish some tempo as they start this one with first and ten.
to throw is Levis. Looking middle, and he's got Wrigley. Come to the line now on second and two. Up the middle, here comes Pollard. And this is going to be a Titans first down as he's got this up to about the 34-yard line. Now after the run, we get a stoppage for an injured player. As the athletic training staff looks at him, we'll step away for a moment. From the 34 now, it's first and 10. Now the former Tulane star. Here's Ty J. Spears. And that one shut down pretty quickly. He'll get back to the line of scrimmage. Nothing more. In order for you to be able to operate out of this 4-3 style defense, Mike, the key is your defensive tackles, their ability to penetrate, their ability to be game records. That's exactly what we saw here, his ability to get back there, make the stop at the line of scrimmage, keep it to no game. He's going to get it to Okonkwo. And the work this close to a first down, maybe just a tad short. And this is where the versatility of the tight end position really starts coming into play. Not only do they have to line up with their hand on the ground, but they can occasionally split out in the slot. And man, they're too fast for linebackers, and a lot of times they're too big for defensive backs. He's got his tight end. That's a pump blow. And he's going to have the first down. It is a gain of six. Good conversion on third down third and inches you see a lot of teams try to take a shot why Mike because they know on fourth and inches they still have a chance to convert the first down the shot wasn't there but they're still able to pick up a nice game and convert and bring up first down to the left side caught by Ridley and he'll be taken down rather swiftly after a gain of just three you can see the eyes of the quarterback he's trying to push this ball initially downfield but with the defense doing a good job keeping a lid on the coverage, he's forced to check this ball down to the shallow route. But this is something that they know in the future. If I need a couple yards, they can come back to this play. And it'll be a pickup of three. So third down, fourth coming. Levis to throw. Connecting with his tight end, Okonkwo. And great determination as he gets forward and picks up the first down. The most impressive thing about this drive, Mike, has really just been their efficiency. They've just continued to pick up first downs, fresh sets of downs. We just saw there with that third down conversion. Continue to possess the ball. These opportunities to come away with points continue to go up. And he'll get back maybe to the line of scrimmage, but probably going to be a loss of a yard here. Well, as been the case this entire first half, it's been the defense that's really carried the load for this team. Some offensive struggles, but they've done more than their part, coming through again with another big stop for a loss. Throwing on second down, Levis. That is caught by the man wearing zero, Calvin Ridley. And he'll be very close to a first down. Won't quite have enough, but now a much more advantageous spot. Similar to a tight end, the slot receiver is often considered the safety blanket. He makes all the difficult catches, tends to be a little bit more around the line of scrimmage. And so far today, he's certainly lived up to that reputation. Go try and run here with Spears. The idea here for this offense is you're not really thinking necessarily touchdown. You're thinking first down. Let's get a fresh set of downs here and reset. But in this case, they suffer a loss, and it brings up fourth down. The 
field goal unit on the sideline. They'll line up to go for it on fourth down. They'll try it now with Spears. And he's not going to get there. Coming up a couple of yards short. This is going to be a turnover on down. The Houston offense going to make their way back onto the field. They'll begin with first and ten. Set to go now on first and ten. From the gun, here's Stroud. He'll find Woods. That one is caught. And he's brought down after a gain of six on first down. They'll come up now for second down and four. Here's a give up the middle to Mixon. And he will keep the drive moving. Gets the first down. Nice gain of five. I think this second down call, Mike, they were hoping that at worst they had themselves set up for a third down and short. But there's no need for third down. He was able to get enough on second, and they get a fresh set of downs. First down, they keep it on the ground, and they keep it with Nixon. And he'll work forward for about three. It's second down. is to find a way to establish a balance between the run and the pass. But some success here early on the ground will open up things as the game unfolds for the quarterback in this passing game. Stroud to throw here on first down. And they'll get about half of what they needed. It's a pickup of five and sets up second and five. The drag route is such a good way to get the ball early into the hands of your tight end and take some pressure off the quarterback and give him an easy completion. The size and the athleticism allows them to try to pick up more yards, but do it after the catch. He'll give this to Mixon, running right. He's able to get away for one man, but those reinforcements, they got there quick. Take him down behind the line. How often do we see linebackers be so fast trying to track down the ball carrier that they end up actually overrunning the play and allowing the running back to cut back? But not this guy. Does a great job staying in phase, stretching this ball out sideways, and he brings him down for a loss. Inside the track, it is caught. That's his third pick for this first half, and good enough for a first down. Really nice throw there. The ability to throw the ball out on the perimeter. Yes, arm strength and all that. But it's also timing. The timing of the route. When is that wide receiver coming out of his break to deliver that ball accurately as his head comes around? If the ball's thrown too early, the receiver's not ready. If the ball's thrown too late, that's when disaster strikes. They'll come up with nothing there. Fortunate just to get back to the line. And that'll set up second and goal. All the qualities that make a good safety are seen on display on this play. Speed, pursuit, 
and then the intensity and the strength at the point of contact for the tackle to keep this ball carrier to no gain, that is a complete safety play. Two minutes remain here in this first half. Greg and I back from Houston in a moment. Another shot at it from the nine. Second down and goal. From the shotgun, C.J. Stroud. He pulls it in around the five. And he keeps the legs moving, able to get it down inside the five. The drag route. We used to say this is day one install. Every single offense in the NFL has this sort of route, especially for the tight end position. And depending on the speed and the run after catch ability of the tight end, Sometimes it can lead to some of the biggest gains. They'll try and run with Nixon. And that big offensive block. Clearing space. He's in. Joe Nixon. Touchdown, Houston. That's his second touchdown so far here in the first half. What a standout performance early on in this one. That his second rushing touchdown of the game. And some backs, Mike, they just have a sense of finding the end zone and being able to finish off these runs. That's exactly what this guy has been able to do today. And we're just getting started. So after the touchdown, here's Fairbairn to kick it off. Spears now to return it. And he'll work this one past the 25 to right about the 28-yard line. But Titans offense getting those helmets back on, ready to head out for their next possession. They'll try to get this a bit more respectable before the break. It has not been their half to this point. Let's see what they do on this drive. First down now. Out of the shotgun. Levis. That one complete. It's Tyler Boyd. It's pretty evident, Mike, when a quarterback and his wide receiver are operating on the exact same page. The anticipation, the timing, the accuracy of the, both the route and the ball. And when they're working together like this, that's the definition of teach tape. A second down throw here for Levis. That one incomplete. For the most part, he's been very accurate with the ball. I mean, he's completing over 60% of his passes, but because they haven't been able to get any big explosive plays, continue to push the ball downfield, Hasn't really translated on the scoreboard just yet. Here's third down and a few inches. Now Levis. Here comes the screen to Spear. And he will have the first down. He caught it short of the line to game, but knows right where that marker is. And he's able to pick up that first down. So on these play calls, Mike, on third and inches, typically how it goes is we're going to try to take a shot. Then there's a medium zone option. And then the last resort is just pick up the first down with something underneath and get that fresh set of down. So in this case, he settles for the underneath throw, but it's still enough to pick up the first down. After the catch, he gets that forward for a gain of nine. A good spot here, second and a yard. From the gun, it's Levis. He'll again get it to River. And they're going to work this down inside the 45. Here's first and ten.
Throwing is Levis. Catch made. That's Boyd. And he will have a first down. And they're in a field goal range now at the 30. It's been a rough first half. But now as we approach halftime, Mike, you got to start getting some wins. And it could be something small like we just saw here. Some positive plays. Build a little confidence on that sideline. So as you go into halftime, you have something to build on. Titans going to use the last of their timeouts here. Nick Folk now on with the field goal unit. This one from 47 yards out. He is two for two. That kick is good. And the Titans are back within two scores. And when you find yourself down double digits, you don't want to make habit of settling for these field goals. It does allow them to chip away a little bit and cut into this deficit, but they've got to find a way to score touchdowns. second now of this first half as this one is away and no chance to return this one through the end zone for a touchback And they're just going to run it here up the middle. And he's going to be taken down as time runs out on this first half of play. So we reach halftime in what has been to this point a one-sided game. As we'll head over to Orlando. Standing by there, Jonathan Coachman. He has the EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. Okay, Mike, thank you. More from you and Greg in a moment, but for now, welcome one and all to our EA Sports Halftime Report. It was Joe Mixon who had it working in the first half. He had a nose for the end zone as he wound up with two touchdowns on the ground in those first two quarters. Coach, thank you. Back here on EA Sports as we count down to the kickoff of the second half. Pretty interesting first half. We'll see if any strategy changes for the next 30 minutes or more as this second half gets underway. Now an opening past the 30. And this will work out quite well. He'll get it all the way out to the 30-yard line. The Titans offense and quarterback Will Levis ready for their next possession. And he's had it going in the first half. Really had his way with the secondary. They've been powerless to stop him. Now they're trying to keep it going. They'll come up here first and ten. Here's Levis to throw. Short pass taken in by the tight end. He's close to a first down to gain a nine. Nice pitch and catch on first down. Second and a yard. The tight end Okonkwo is in motion. On second down. Left. And that's going to be incomplete. Coverage was good that time. The contact jarring the ball loose and forcing third down. Sometimes it's those footsteps. I don't care how long you've been playing or at what level you've been playing at. And that defender's bearing down. You really get a good idea of what guys are willing to go through contact to secure a catch. And in this case, what guys are under. They'll be forced to just throw that one away. It's incomplete. 
So defensively, there's always the initial pass coverage plan. And then when that breaks down and the quarterback goes into scramble mode, how fast can you then move on to the second phase of what they call plaster, meaning find the nearest receiver and almost play a man-to-man. -man. And it's exactly what they did here. And there was nowhere for the ball to go. And he's forced to just throw it away. sure that return was not going any farther. There's Nico Collins and his Texans teammates getting set for their next possession. And you see the numbers for him into this third quarter. They just pop off the screen. He has been open and electric throughout. This drive starts at the 21. It's first and 10. Here's Stroud. About 15 yards to kick off the drive. It's a first down. That's just such a tough throw. I mean, that's all arm. Being able to get your body turned and throw back across your body. I mean, it's one thing if you're just throwing it a couple yards to a check down. But in this case, he's still willing and able to push the ball downfield. And there does come some danger when you throw back across. But in this case, it's a big completion over the middle and caught by Collins. And he's brought down after a game of six on first down. Second down, and here's a run, and here's Mixon. And they get this one across midfield to the 47 yard line it's too early at this point Mike to really start thinking about the clock you definitely don't want to go into a shell but now this is the point in the game where having a good ground game really starts to take over you throw to get the lead but man once you get it that ground game that's what finishes the game off that's me that's worse and he's close to another first down as he's brought down just shy of the marker Here's second and two. To throw, it's Stroud. Ooh. And they're going to be set up in the red zone. They got it inside the 15. And so far here today, putting points on the board certainly hasn't been a problem. And plays like that are why. Think about it, Mike. Sometimes you just have to take what the defense gives you and not force something that's not there. And that mid-range pass results in a fresh set of downs. On the move at the 14-yard line, it's first and 10. They'll run out of the gun with Mixon. And a determined run there. He gets about seven yards inside the 10-yard line. Here's a second and three forthcoming. Again, they'll give it to Mixon. And nothing on that one back to the line of scrimmage. And that is it. You could just see the frustration on the running back's face as he's getting helped up off the ground. Like, there was just nowhere to go from the moment he was handed the ball. Give credit to the defense. Great job. They'll come up to third and three. Strap. Going to set up to throw. Oh, and that throw not able to be pulled in. It's incomplete. Looked like he may have got a little ahead of himself there. And it's going to bring up fourth down. The sideline erupted. They thought that was an easy six. But instead, it was nothing but disappointment. I mean, that is a gut-wrenching missed opportunity for the offense. And he has his head down just in disbelief. And this is what you want. I mean, you clearly have the advantage, but you want to continue to apply pressure. Can you score every time you get the ball? They're able to do that here. They tack on three and extend their lead.
Bear Barron, after making the field goal, heads back out to kick this one away. Here comes a return from the five. He'll work his way across the 25-yard line. Out comes the Tennessee offense. They get set to see what they can do. They're in need of points in a big way as they set out on first and ten. because so far this has been a struggle and they just cannot get anything going through the air. C.J. Stroud and the Houston offense set to get going again. And he has been a nightmare to scheme against throughout this one. This defense has been picked apart. That is borne out in those impressive numbers. He has been terrific all game long. So they come to the line for first down and 10. Crowd to throw. The throw left side finds down. And he's going to be marked down up around the 33. That is such a critical area on the field, Mike, between the hash marks and the numbers. Everyone wants to control the middle of the field. Every offense is targeting it. So what does the defense do? They really pack it. So for a quarterback to be able to put this ball out on the perimeter, it just really stresses these defenses, especially in their coverages. Now, a whistle. Looks like there was movement on the left side of that offensive rock. Laramie Tunsil, the big tackle flag there. And he works his way through an opening. Up past the 35. Nice run for eight on that one. Second and seven. Here's Strap. He's got a run time they get to him and bring him down outside of a turnover this was probably the worst case scenario immediate pressure in his face with nowhere to go with the ball downfield just get the ball out of your hand live to play another down instead he retreats backwards and leads to a massive loss Work to do following the sack. It is third and long. Throwing is Stroud. That is brought in. A great connection there. We're going to bring it down inside the 35-yard line. I'm just not sure how you let somebody that big 
gets so wide open. And judging from the defense's body language, I think it's pretty safe to say that somebody blew their coverage assignment. Mixon. Space to run. Inside the 20. And he's out of bounds all the way inside the 15-yard line. A game there of 21. It's good for a Texans first down. What a good run there. That's going to put him over 100 for today's game, Mike. And it just seems as the game goes on, this guy just seems to get better and better. We'll get this only to about the 10. Look him up on a second down and eight. They will work the middle with Mixon. And he nearly got free. But as it is, gain of six, and it sets up third down. From the gun, here's Stroud. That's hauled in at the two. And they'll stop him just short of the goal line, but they are going to have enough to convert. It's going to be first and goal. Mike, I love studying the NFL and just seeing the amount of ways NFL coordinators are able to get their running backs now involved in the passing game. They're kind of chess pieces. They can move them out in the slot. They can put them out wide, of course, out of the backfield. It's a big part of today's modern NFL. What makes great linebackers stand out from the pack is their instincts and their vision. In this case, the linebacker has his keys, brings him right where the ball is going, and he's able to make a play at the point of attack and keep this to a no game. Another shot from the one on second and goal. They look to run with Mixon, and he'll go down back at the four. In these goal-to-go situations backed up on your own goal line, Mike, what they teach the defense is it's your job to establish a new line of scrimmage. And that's exactly what they did here. Watch the push they get. The offensive line goes backwards, and they take the ball carrier down for a loss. From the gun here on third down, it's strapped. To the end zone there, but it is incomplete. Nico Collins was the intended receiver there. And now it's fourth and goal. So instead of celebrating a touchdown, he's just heading back to his huddle trying to keep his head up as everyone kind of looks at him sideways. If that ball hits your hands at this level, you've just got to make the catch. That's what your quarterback's counting on. That's what your teammates are counting on. Frankly, that's what this entire stadium is counting on. Yeah, he does a nice job handling that kick there, but I think offensively, you come back to the sideline and you're thinking, we have to find a way to finish these drives. I mean, to be in first and goal and settle for three, that can be very deflating for an offense settling for too many field goals. Baron, after making the field goal, heads back out to kick this one away. This taken at the five. And he'll be brought down past the 25. Decent field position to start this drop. The visitors' offense make their way out to take over once more. They find themselves down three touchdowns here. Needing to flip the script in a hurry. And they'll start it here on first down. to start this drive and tough running there he's up to the 32 Halen Bullock there on the 
counter tackle. Here's second and six. Here's Levis. Open man, he's got boy. A big play there on second down, but we do have a flag on the field. That's in an area where usually this play gets erased. The tight end, Okonkwo, is in motion. Throwing on second down, Levis. Connecting with his tight end, Okonkwo. Well, that helps to be a much more manageable third down, getting some good yardage on that second down play. Not every pass has to be thrown downfield. You can rely on the run after catch, especially a big body like this tight end. Get the ball in his hands early and let him pick up the rest after the catch. So, three quarters have come and gone. We'll return with more after this. This is the NFL on EA Sports. Here now, third and five. Out of the shotgun, Levis. He's going to get it to Ocampo. And he is very close to the first down, but an uh, eyeball, he is shy of it. And they say it's fourth and inches. I think this is one of those plays that when the ball carrier watches this back in the film room tomorrow, he's going to be a little frustrated with himself. If he could just have made that one guy miss, he picks up the first down. Instead, he gets brought down short of the sticks. And now they got a fourth down decision made. He's got the first down and more than that. No touchdown, but they are close. Going to be first and goal. They've got it at the three. There's a lot of factors that make this play so successful, Mike. And clearly, the ability of this tight end to not only find the open space in the defense, but then after the catch to turn into a runner, that is very rare at the tight end position. We're seeing it more and more often, though, over the last couple years. And then the accuracy of the quarterback to not only deliver the ball to the open receiver, but to do it in a way that allows him to comfortably turn into a run. And he'll just get up inside those big bodies up front. And he's in. Tony Pollard. Touchdown, Titans. Well, Greg, the light's still on way down at the end of the tunnel here. They are climbing back into this one with that touchdown here in the fourth quarter. And they have a tall task ahead of them, Mike, but they have a chance. I mean, we've seen stranger things happen. Mm -hmm. They got a two-possession game here late. They're going to need a couple stops, and they're going to need a couple things to bounce their way. The veteran Nick Folk here for the extra point. It's up and good. And the Titans are able to cut into the deficit. Both teams ready to go once more as the kick's away. Here's Steven Sims to return it. And he'll be brought down right around the 25-yard line. The Texans offense and running back Joe Mixon heading out onto the field. And we'll take you back to some of the highlights. Been plenty of room to run, and he has taken advantage of it. Already over 100 yards in this one. He got it early, he got it often, and the defense hasn't gotten much of him.
From the 25, they'll go to work. First and 10. From the shotgun, C.J. Stroud. That one caught by Tank Dell. And he's down inside the 40-yard line. Well, I think one thing's for sure, Mac. I don't think we're seeing an offense that is comfortable with this late lead. They're continuing to put pressure on the defense and say, hey, I don't care how much we're up by. We're going to continue to execute our passing game, and if there's opportunities downfield, we're going to continue to take them. From the 39, here's a first and 10. Stroud. And the success of this play, Mike, all comes down to the timing of the defender. You get there a little bit too early, you risk pass interference. You get there a little too late, it's a big pass completion. Timing your hand and playing through the ball is something they work on with these defenders all the time. And next time they throw the ball downfield, I wouldn't be surprised if they target somebody else. Oh, and this one's going to wind up incomplete. That's one you'd think he'd be able to corral. He can't find the handle, and it's going to lead to a third down. He's looking for Joe Mixon coming out of the backfield. And it's going to bring up a third down. Now, Stroud. On the quick slant, they find Dell. He's going to be brought down very close to that line to gain. They're going to mark him just a bit short. And that challenge flag is out. Tamiko Ryan saying, I want another look at this one. What they're looking at here is the spot of the football. Always tricky to get this exactly right. But all it takes a few inches to make a big impact. So slow this down, find a landmark on the field, and determine where the spot should be. So this winds up to be a very smart decision to throw the challenge flag. They remeasure, and this indeed will become a first down. The break the huddle coming up now for first and ten. Back to throw. Stroud. Looking middle there, but it's incomplete. And this game almost just flipped completely on his head. You find yourself with a lead just trying to milk the clock away in the fourth quarter, and that's a gift. I mean, that defender just flat out drops the ball, and if he's able to secure that takeaway, this game looks very different for this offense. He'll get about three, and that's going to lead to third down. Here's third and seven. Here's a toss right side to Mixon. Looking for room out on the edge. You're not going to find any. As a matter of fact, I think they tracked him down behind the line of scrimmage. Good job by the defense, and it's fourth down. That was just a race to the edge, and in this case, Mike, he just wasn't the winner. I mean, at this point, when the defense is out there waiting for you, it's tough for any runner in this league to even get back to the original line of scrimmage. Jaime Fairbairn coming on to try the field goal. This will be a 46-yard attempt. Three for three in the game, as this one is also good. And the Texans add on to their lead. So it's not exactly what you're looking for when you set out on a drive, but at the same time, you don't want to come away empty-handed either. So in this case, they'll take those three points. Fairbairn, after making the field goal, heads back out to kick this one away. From the six, here comes a return. And he is stopped at the 25. The drive will begin there. The visitors' offense ready to get back to work. 
The deficit is 17, so they got to start cutting into it soon. See if it starts here. First and 10. From the gun, it's Levis. That caught Tony Pollard. Outbreaking routes, Mike, especially outside of the numbers. Everything is about the timing. If you're late with the throw, you're going to be watching that defensive back take that thing the other way for six. They come to the line now on second and two. They send Ridley in motion. A second down throw here for Levis. Catch made. That's Boyd. He wants free. Great side. And he will go all the way. Tyler Boyd. Touchdown, Tennessee. Now for the extra point. He knocks it through. And the Titans are able to cut the deficit to 10. kickoff team is out on the field and we're back to it as the kicks away here's Pierce for the return oh he's got room past the 30 and he's brought down right at the 35 yard line the Texans offense and CJ Stroud ready to get to work once more and he has been masterful so far leading this offense keeping the mistakes to a minimum on point with his passes generally one step ahead of the defense all game long from the 35 it's first and ten he'll begin on the ground and here's Mixon and he is crushed in the backfield defenders firing through shut it down right away for a loss of yard at this stage in the fourth quarter, great job by the defense understanding exactly what the offense is trying to do. They're trying to bleed the clock, shorten the game. They completely sold out to stop the run, able to take them down for a loss. Dell motioning over. Throwing on second down. Trap. And they'll hold him to a gain of just a couple and sets up third down. When a defense has speed to the ball like this group does, it makes these wide receiver screens really challenging because all those fast linebackers and defensive backs that are chasing the ball carrier, the offensive line are the ones responsible for them, and sometimes that's just a speed mismatch, and they can't get out in front. They try to work the screen with Mixon. Good-looking screenplay there, a gain of 11 and a first down. That might end up being the backbreaker right now. This defense desperately needed to get off the field and give their offense a chance to cut into this two-score lead. But instead, they now got to defend a fresh set of downs. And as you look up at this clock, you might be running out of time. A fresh set of downs to work with. It is first down and 10. They'll run with Mixon. We're going to work this down inside the 45. Two-possession lead, fourth quarter. This is the time, Mike, when you really can rely heavily on your run game. Everybody in the stadium knows you're going to run it, including the defense. They just can't come up with an answer to stopping it. On 
on first down. It's Stroud. And he'll gain yardage and able to get down at the end of the play. The best quarterbacks don't see the rush. They feel the rush, and that's exactly what this guy was able to do here. He's able to escape the initial pressure and immediately realizes, I got some space out in front of me. Picks up a solid gain here on first down. On second down, Stroud. On the quick slack, caught by Tank Dell. And that's going to be a first down. A pickup of nine. scores where it's not completely over but it's getting to be about that time yeah mike i just think they're entering miracle stage right now and i just don't think there's any coming back from this deficit now fair baron for the extra point the kick is good Texans will open it up even further here in this fourth quarter. So after the touchdown, here's Fairbairn to kick it off. This taken in at the eight-yard line. And he'll be brought down just beyond the 25-yard line. The visitor's offense ready to get back at it. They'll do so with first and ten. but that is incomplete. There was no hesitation from the quarterback. From the jump, he knew where he wanted to go with that ball, but still leads to an incompletion. They're just still not quite on the same page. We'll try again. It's second and ten. Back to the air. It's Levis. Who else? Another catch for his favorite target. Here's a third down and four. Levis to throw. He's got his man. That's Boyd. Remember, he had the touchdown catch the last time they had the football. Here, he's got a first down. It's been tough sledding for this offense all day today, Mike, but especially here in the second half. So they are just in desperate need of a spark just something to get their offense into a little bit of a rhythm if they want to have any chance to find themselves back into this game here late. And he can hang on. It is incomplete. A chance there, a big chance for a huge play, but he couldn't reel it in. We've already seen these two guys connect for a touchdown in this game, and had they been on the same page there, I think they would have been able to add to that total Unfortunately for them, just a little bit off, and it falls incomplete. On second down, Levis. To the left side in the hands of Gore.
They'll empty out the backfield, line up for third and three. Now, Levis. Oh, and that throw not able to be pulled in. It's incomplete. Looks like he may have got a little ahead of himself there. And it's going to bring up fourth down. So the receiver does everything right, except for the most important part. He runs a nice route, with great, great separation downfield. And now you just got to finish that thing off with a catch. Now or never, they'll throw on fourth down. And that is not going to work. Incomplete. And they turn it over on down. You find yourself down big. It's the fourth quarter. There's really no choice but to go for this at this point. But once again, this defense, they're up to the task, and they come through yet again with a huge stop. First and ten. Here's a give running left with Mixon. He'll work his way ahead for a gain of about four. Here's a second and six. Mixon. He'll manage only about three, so it will bring up third down. Here's Stroud. And this ball incomplete on third down. Well, we all know the running joke, right, Mike? If this guy could catch, he'd be playing offense. And, well, I think that's kind of a joke for the pass. These defensive players are incredible these days. That's just too easy. You've got to secure that interception for your defense and get off the field. And no return forthcoming. It's a touchback, and will come out to the 20-yard line. The tight end, Okonkwo, is in motion. On first down, Levis. Here's second and three to go. Levis to throw. Going up top. And he's going to be dragged down, but not until he's inside the 25. First and ten. Here's Levis. That's to the left side. Caught by Ridley. And he's brought down after a gain of six on first down. Just take what the defense is giving you. And you can stay ahead of the chains and just take these easy pitch and catch throws underneath pitch routes. Quick game. Now it puts you in a lot more favorable down and distances to eventually attack this defense a little bit more downfield. Nice job there by the defender. He's able to break up the pass, but I think if he's able to get there just a little bit sooner, now you can get two hands on the ball and give yourself a chance to come down with an even bigger play and come away with the pick. 
important one here. Want to keep this drive moving. Got to pick up third and four. Out of the shotgun. Left. That is incomplete. Here we go. Here goes what could be their final play. It's fourth down. Here's the quarterback doing everything in his power to extend this play, and none of his guys could get open. you got to see someone separate, work with your quarterback, go into scramble second reaction mode, and it also gives some credit to the back end, doing a nice job plastering with their assignment, and he had no choice but to throw it away. And he's not going to get away. They get him down right after the catch. Great rally to the ball to force a turnover on down. Well, that was a disaster. I, I, I like the call. I, I like going for it on fourth down. Give your offense a chance to extend this drive and maintain possession. But after going the wrong way, now they're going to have to watch the other team take over after failing to move the chains. This drive starts at the 21. It's first and 10. Out of the gun. Here's a give to Mixon. Finding room at the 35. And they'll bring him down, but not until he gets to the 38-yard line. Here's a case of an offense just piling on. You're really imposing your will on the defense. Everyone in the stadium knows you're going to run it. The defense knows it. You know it. And no matter what they do, they have no answers whatsoever. Stroud, down to a knee. And that should put the finishing touches on this one. So, to win here for the Texans. They take care of business here at home. It's a game that we're expected to win. They have no problems in the end as they cruise to victory.